you read the title correctly, Time Travel. Supposedly, the Lord gave Celestial a word in 2022 that the U.S. government can time travel. Now, some of you will try to defend this because I've seen this on the Internet and government this, and but you have no Bible. You are not hearing from the Holy Spirit, but I don't want to talk too long, so let's go ahead and play this video. Tell you, I did mention time travel and... I will just share a little bit of things from my notes. Um, one of the things that the Lord said, I think this would be in September. September 19, 2022 is the Lord saying that the United States government does have ways to do time travel. Just a moment, please. The Lord is saying to her, that the U.S. government has ways to time travel. Now, I don't care if not, if any of y'all are having dreams of this, this, that. Those dreams are not coming from God. They're not coming from God. There isn't any alternate realities or I'm living in 2027. There's none of that. This whole thing of time traveling and the U.S. government being in control and they can go here and there throughout time is just, it's not biblical. The Bible even tells us that my times are in your hands. The Lord says that my times are in your hands. In the book of uh, Psalms chapter 31, verse 15, my times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hands of my enemies, from those who pursue me. So our time, God is outside of time. So time is in the hands of God. When we see prophecy, revelation, or the book of revelation, all of that stuff has been appointed by God. It has all been um, there's a time frame that God has set. You understand me? So God, God actually controls time and no one can manipulate time in the sense of traveling. So I'm reading from here. This one is September the 5th, 2022. And I'm only going to read selectively from this. Time travel is possible. Time travel is real. This is not written in the scriptures. This. You hear that? This is not written in the scriptures. So she wants you to believe things that are not written in the Bible. There's no biblical evidence to support this. Some people talk about Philip being translated in the spirit. That has nothing to do with time traveling. At all. It's not in the book. This is secrets that the Nephilim revealed to the sons of men and also the angels to men who should not have access to this knowledge. It is not for man. It is not for man to repeat or know. And yet man does know. And some of them are doing it. You know what's crazy, though? Angels can't even time travel. Nephilim can't time travel. We're in the here and now. We can't travel to our past. Can the Lord give us dreams of things that's happened in the past and whatnot? Yeah, but we're not literally traveling, traveling to the past and existing and seeing people and talking to people in real time, and we're just there, and then we're traveling to the future and all this stuff. It's just a bunch of garbage. The Lord can show you your future, but that future is not set in stone. It is, a, it is a revelation of if you do this, you do that, then this will be your reality. I put before you life and death, blessings and curses. The Lord will put before you two paths. You cannot time travel because people in real time have to make a choice for their destiny or their reality to, to be, right? Because whatever choices you make in the now will influence your future. So time traveling does not even make sense. It doesn't make sense because our steps are ordered by the Lord and he delights in our ways. But this whole thing of time travel, is, it, it, it's, sci it's a, the whole thing of sci-fi and movies. This is why I tell you guys, this woman operates from the spirit of Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime, Fire Stick, movie theater, Netflix and chill. There's nothing here of her 
operating in the spirit of God. She operates in the spirit of divination, Google search, Google Chrome, all of those things, Safari, Android, Apple, all just, it's just ridiculous. The fallen angels have given them access. This is the people who have built this thing, this circle, this thing that they call CERN. This thing is actually called a Stargate, a Stargate. And when the Lord led me, excuse me, please. How many of you have seen that, um, that show called Stargate and they go through a portal and it's like they enter into this another place. She's talking about a, a, sh a show, a literal show that's called Stargate. Me and my brothers used to watch it. Like, oh, a lot of the stuff in the government, they're showing us this. No one can time travel. The Bible says my times are in your hands. God is outside of time. He's created time. No one can time travel. To know this thing, when you Google it, you will find that there is actually a movie like this. Sure, it's old and it's grainy, but it is there. And I can easily submit it to you for your own vetting. This thing, the Lord will use a word that we use. So the Lord knows that aliens are demonic hybrids. They are not demons. An alien cannot possess your soul. It can certainly control you through mind control and things like that. But a demon is a formless being that is constantly fighting to enter into our vessel so that it can express itself. That's where all these vicious um, killing people and eating people murders come from. It is the demon that breaches and gets in. Now, when she's talking about um, aliens, we got to understand, yes, aliens are not demons. Demons are disembodied spirits. They don't have a physical form. They can only, they come to possess bodies. They can enter animals. They can enter um, hu human beings. But when we're dealing with aliens, if an alien were to project itself or reveal itself to you physically, you got to understand that it's a fallen angel. And according to scripture, fallen angels have the ability to shapeshift. You can see them throughout scripture in the Old Testament, how they will come in the form of man, physically in the form of man. They were literally, it's all throughout scripture. You, know, you understand me? So this whole thing of her talking about aliens being in a literal different type of species outside of like a different type of entity outside of like demons and fallen angels. It's just a bunch of baloney garbage and it's, it's just not biblical. Spiritually and possesses the person and then makes people do these heinous, heinous crimes that we're seeing. But God is saying that this thing called time travel is possible that it is indeed real and that the government does do it and that the government has had this knowledge revealed to them by the fallen ones, by the fallen ones, angel Nephilim sharing with man, just as they did when they came down upon Mount Hermon, they are again doing the same transgression, sharing with humanity things that mankind, God never intended us to know the fallen angels have given them access and taught them secrets and revealed things to them that they are not supposed to know or move in by any means. Now, I'm going to say this. Do I believe that demon, there is a demonic intelligence and um, a, fall, a fallen angel intelligence where man has learned things from the fallen angels and they have learned things from demons? You know, uh, Muhammad got his, he got the Quran from a fallen angel, Joseph Smith. You know, Mormonism, Jehovah Witness, all this stuff, right? Yes, that stuff is true. But when it comes to time traveling, it's just not true. Nobody is traveling throughout time. Oh, now I'm in 2055. When you understand, when, when, when there is a prophetic word and someone's talking about the future and they see this, they see that, that's not time traveling. That's just a prophetic picture, a revelation of. The Lord wants to do this in your life. If you will obey the Lord, this will be your reality. If you will obey the Lord, this will do this. If you don't do this, you'll go here. Narrow is the way that leads unto salvation, and small is its gate, right? If you find it, broad, broad is its way, and wide is its gate that leads into destruction, and many go by it. So that's a prophetic word that if you choose life or death or the narrow or the broad way, 
then this will be your future. This is what your future will look like. That's not time traveling. The Lord can take you up in the spirit and show you things like John the Revelator, but John was not traveling throughout time in the sense where he's living in the future in real time where it's like, I'm here, I'm living here, and I'm, I'm seeing myself and all this stuff. It's just no. Like in real time, you can have a vision. You can have a revelation. You can be taken up in the spirit and the Lord shows you things, but you're not existing. And that's not a reality that is actually happening in real time. It is something of the future. Men are not supposed to travel in time. Men are fixed in time to live, die, and accept their fate. So why is there so much information about it on your shows? Why is there so? See, so now the Lord is supposedly speaking. Why is there so much information on time traveling in your shows? She's talking about Netflix. How many times has Celestial referenced Netflix movies or Disney movies? Stuff from Frozen and, and Wendigos and people turning into werewolves and the zombies coming alive, coming back to Earth, eating people. Um, this happening, that happening. Things that literally come from movies. So much information. Now, am I saying there are some things that are, that are in movies that are predictive pro that aren't predictive programming, and it's not what the it, it, it's the 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 elites are not planning these things through movies. Yeah, there are some things in movies that have shown us what they are planning to do in the Earth realm. But there is no one that has the power to time travel, not even the devil. We exist in the here and now. And the here and now, what we do in this here and now is what alters our future. That's what makes our future a reality. About it, teased in your movies and trailers. And sometimes the process of it is outright put forward and described upon your televisions. Who is giving men information? Where is all this coming from? It is coming from them, the fallen ones, the fallen angels. It is not from me. So now you hear that information can be true knowledge. It can be true information, but it not, it's not necessarily what God wants you to know. God created Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were never babies. They were created full adults, and yet they lived in the garden, not in a state of ignorance or stupor, but they did live in a state of purity, and that purity included pure innocence, an innocence untroubled by Knowing about Nephilim, knowing about fallen angels, knowing about Satan. God never introduced the serpent to his perfect creations. He created them in literal utopia and left them, some would say unprotected. No, Adam and Eve were protected by obedience. God told them how the whole thing worked. Listen, we're, we're just going to stop that right there because a bunch of foolishness. Foolishness. The whole thing was like 24 minutes. I'm not going to keep it going. It's just a bunch of twisting of scripture, but she can't quote any scripture out of, she can't quote any scripture in context of what she's trying to, she's trying to uh, project. It's just a bunch of storytelling and then grabbing this story in the Bible. And because this happened, there's this secret knowledge and this is going to happen. The government, this, why are you seeing this? This is why you're seeing this in movie. It's a bunch of baloney and baloney, and you will never see this. You will never see anyone traveling. Because if time travel was a real thing, it has, if, tra if time travel was a real thing, then there would have to be alternate realities. If time travel is a real thing, that means that we can travel and we can travel throughout time and change things in time and come back. And that would affect our reality currently and then our, also our reality in the future. If that was the case, then, like, I just don't understand how so many people can be so misled by this woman. This woman is a diviner. This woman is a jokester. Like, and there's so many people that are like, 
The judgment of God will come upon you. This is going to happen to you. Let's see what God you're talking about where there will be a judgment of God. Touch not my anointed and do my promise no harm. Stop your garbage. Okay, stop your garbage. None of that stuff works here. You quoting scripture out of context, being fear-based and all this stuff. Bunch of baloney. Time travel. Movies, Netflix. E.T. 